Hi there, my name is Chris Bond from the Sock Mob blog. Today I'll be showing you how to make your own homemade cricothyrotomy trainer. First, the setup. You'll need a hard base, a plastic or metal tray. Here I'm using an OR tray, but you could use a Tupperware or other sandwich container. You'll also need a trachea. Ventilator tubing is ideal for this. The double thick ventilator tubing is best, but you could also use the single thick. You'll also need a few different sized rolls of tape. One, the thyroid cartilage. Here I'm just using some IV tape. Next, a cricoid cartilage. So I'm using a smaller roll of tape. And finally, some waterproof equipment tape, which is going to act as your skin. You'll also need a stack of 4x4 gauzes and a 4x4 that's folded in half. This is the equipment that you'd use to make a simple crank trainer. You can add on additional things as well, like a bag to act as the lungs, and you'll also need tools to perform the crank, which I've not shown here. So, so the first step is to place some of the 4x4 gauzes on the base. This is to help secure the trachea and to prevent it from rolling around. If you have a base that has a lot of friction on it or is really rough, you might not need these 4x4s at all. Next, take your trachea and your cricoid and thyroid cartilages and place them on the trachea. You'll notice that I took a lot of the tape off both of these rolls to make it so that the trachea will come closer to the surface of the skin to mimic reality a little bit better. At this point, take your folded up 4x4 gauze, and I like to fold it up and place it underneath the trachea to bring it a little bit closer to the surface of the skin. Now, I like to keep these about a finger breadth apart. That's roughly uh, the adult male distance for the cricothyroid membrane. Now, at this point, all you have to do is place your skin, and for this, what I'd like to do is take three pieces of the IV tape that are just layered on top of one another, and I use that to reinforce one of the pieces of waterproof tape, just like so, and that makes it so that you have a little bit more thickness to the skin over top of the cricothyroid membrane. So I'll put that piece of tape on first, and so you can just secure it there, and then put additional pieces of tape on to create the skin. So at this point, it's not necessary to completely cover up the entire trainer, as you can imagine, but you just want to cover up the cricoid and thyroid cartilages, and then now you can feel your thyroid cartilage here and your cricoid cartilage, and feel your cricothyroid membrane. Now using equipment that you'd normally use for a crike, you can practice your crike skills. You'll notice that you can just rotate the trachea tubing and create more portals for tracheas so that you can practice several times on one piece. And then you can replace the tubing and practice more. Hopefully, doing this enough times will make you more comfortable with the procedure and increase your chance of success when it comes time to really do a crank. Thanks very much. I'm Chris Bond from the Sock Mob blog. Happy cranking.